First, I'll make a slip knot. Next, I'll chain 11. Now, turn the foundation chain over so the back is facing up. We'll be working into these little bumps. In Tunisian crochet, the loop on your hook will count as your first stitch. I'm going to work my second stitch in the second bump from the hook. Insert your hook through the bump, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Leave this loop on your hook. I'll insert my hook into the third bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, and leave it on the hook. I'll continue this way until the end of the foundation chain. I've worked into the last bump on the chain. I'll count the loops to make sure that I have 11. Next, I'm going to work back across the row. Yarn over and pull up a loop. This is called a chain one. It's like a turning chain. Yarn over again and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. I'll continue like this until I have one loop on the hook. I'm going to gently snug up my working yarn close to the hook. Now, I'm going to work a forward pass in Tunisian simple stitch. The loop I have on my hook counts as my first stitch. I'll work under the second bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, and leave it on the hook. I'll insert the hook through the third bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, and keep it on the hook. Continue this way until I get to the end. When I reach the end, I'll turn the selvage towards me and look for these two loops. This looks like an upside down V.
and I'll insert the tip of my hook under the V and pull up a loop. Now I'll work the return pass. First, I'll chain one. This is my turning chain. Next, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. I'll continue like this until I have one loop left on the hook. Now I'll work a forward pass in Tunisian simple stitch. I have one loop on the hook, so I'm not going to work into this first loop. I'll work into the second loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and leave it on the hook. I'll work this way until I get to the end. Now I'll turn the selvage edge towards me and I'll find these two loops. I'll loosen them up a bit and insert my hook under these loops. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and leave it on the hook. I'll count my stitches to make sure that I have 11. And next, I'll work the return pass. Chain one. This acts as a turning chain. Now yarn over, pull through two loops, and continue this way until there is one loop on the hook. Watch your tension on the selvage edges. At the beginning of the row, the tension can be quite loose, and at the end of the row, the tension can be tight. One way to correct this is to really snug up your yarn when you're working into the first several stitches, and gradually relax your tension slightly as you work across the row. I'll continue working the forward pass. Now I've come to the end, and I'll look for the V. And insert my hook under it. Yarn over and pull up a loop. When I work the return pass, first I'll chain one. Now as I yarn over and pull through two, I'm going to pinch the edge of the fabric with my thumb and forefinger 
and hold it down just slightly to make a little space between the hook and my swatch. This will help create a looser edge. I'll complete the return pass until I have one stitch on the hook. come to the end and I'll locate the V where I need to work my last stitch. You can see that the swatch is beginning to curl. This tends to happen in Tunisian crochet. After you've finished your project, blocking will help your work lay flat. Also, to keep your work from curling, it's important to use a large hook so the fabric will be lighter and more flexible. By working into the Vs at the end of the row, I'm getting a tidy, beautiful edge. Now I'm going to work my return pass. I've come to the end and I'll be working under this V right here. I'll insert my hook into this space, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Now I'll chain one, then yarn over and pull through two loops. I'll work like this to the end of the row. this swatch and now I'm going to bind off. Binding off is like working a slip stitch in crochet. First I'll insert my hook through the second bar, yarn over, 
pull up a loop and pull that loop through the first loop. Now I'll insert the hook into the third bar, pull up a loop, and pull that loop through the second loop. I'll continue like this across the row. I'll find the V on the selvage edge. Insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull that loop through the loop on the hook. I'm done. I'll cut the yarn, pull the tail through the last stitch, and get ready to block my swatch.